Okay. Uh, so was Caden and Liara. That was the only two awkward ones. So now we can talk to all of our normal crew members that aren't weirdos. Hi, Garrus. Commander, good to see you. What's up? You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Oh, we'll, we'll see some action if you invite me up to your quarters. Yeah, so Come on, Garrus! Garrus is, like, pretty bro -y in the first game. He, he's your bro. I, yeah. like, I like him. What's up? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. How so? What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out, there was more going on than we first realized. <laughs> Bye! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> first, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. <laughs> After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles. The pantries were bare. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. That's over 9,000. Am I right? <laughs> Somebody's making a killing out there. Uh, so what'd you do? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Uh, interviewing? You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Wow, wait a That was jump jumping the gun. It paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. That's when I found out that I was the one who was actually murdering these people. Test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. That's sick. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Sometimes the organs would have a few off-tone pipes, so and we had to kill them. Okay, that was terrible. I was actually thinking it as you were was, saying it. I'm terrible. glad I kept it to myself Yeah, it's, <laughs> after I saw how your execution went. That was a hard joke to wrangle. I shouldn't have tried. Oh, so did you interview him? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Fuck. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. They just let him go? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. Mm. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. You're dumb. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Pavan and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. 
All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. That is a tough choice, actually. I can't tell if he's right or wrong on that. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He feelers? That sounds pretty creepy his there, Darius. His heart is his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But, Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Loyalty mission. Um, basically what, I guess, would be the Mass Effect 1 equivalent of a loyalty mission. It really isn't. Commander? Yeah. It's just the mission they give you. Yeah. The only loyalty mission in this game is Rex's, and we'll talk about that more when we get to it. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Caden, huh? Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? No, ma'am. And anyway, Scuttlebutt says he's already sweet on someone. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. How is your family? Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. My sisters Dad and me so much. especially. I had to help mom raise them. Mm, Dad, mom, sisters, home. Eh. After Sounds pretty boring. Raise them, your sisters still talk to you. <laughs> Amazing. And if she had like five moms, that would be interesting. That would be something I'd want to hear we, about. But oh, you have it. a dad and a mom and a sister. Boring. We've all got those. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster. Sorry, than she I did. didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to really slowly I'm turn sorry. to stare at him. <laughs> he did. It. The funny thing is, before I saw you starting to do it, I pictured you starting to do it in my head because I realized what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. It's fine. There's actually a DM. Um, if he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. I'll talk about it here in yeah, a second as we're course. between conversations. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, women, am I right? <laughs> Mike thought women. they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods. Because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Jeez. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. It's family full of military dudes. I took dudes. emergency leave and walked yeah. Sarah to school for a few days. That's dedicated. Wow. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half. How dare you tell people the truth about me? Let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. <coughs> wow, shit. That's Military family. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. Okay, you're he fired. Swung, Get uh, Sarah just, on the phone. She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. Oh. And she hugged him. Oh. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I am unfazed by this story. Wasn't your family stationed near him? And Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly. 
have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. Ralph Waldo Emerson. For always roaming with the Is it Ralph Waldo Emerson? Waldo Emerson? I'm seen hoping seen it's not so I can be comically incorrect. And manners, okay. I thought it was Tennyson, actually. Yes! yes! Tennyson. Um, <laughs> you know you like classical literature? <laughs> Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. I wanted to say it and then Does like, in, I didn't know there would be a second line to that. So. I was expecting I to one of them to just like home. quote the, Dad say the name of the quote back. and me being like He's comically wrong like that. Know. She really likes Tennyson. It's something you hear a lot of if you go her we romance got? path, Death. if you're a dude. Mm. Dead on Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? It's I do too, actually! It's the you know, future, so Ashley. We've killed Fox God. <laughs> We've become God. Fox oh my God. Yeah, I guess you have. Ezo, Mass really Effect. Out by my faith. Because Krogan I Transplant I Testicles. Power. It's Jeez. the future. We don't need God anymore. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I believe in anything, y'all know! I didn't mean to take up so much of your time. All right. See you, Ashley. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. She's a really cool character. Um, it's just if you're not romancing her, she's pretty dull. Uh, she really opens okay. up to you about some really crazy stuff if you're actually a romance option. Mm. Anyway, like like Caden's doing with us right now. Caden talking about all this Jump Zero stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. I this is like my first time learning really serious details about either of their backstories. Yeah, Ashley's pretty basic. She's uh. Christian military family, uh, badass, and that's actually pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. But you, it's it's sort of a surface persona, um, unless you're like a dude, and then she tells you like everything. What do you I want, think, Shepard? If I remember right, personal inquiry. Why did you become a mercenary? Inquiry. Lots of reasons. Why did you become yes. a mercenary? Such as. Such as I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why leave, though? Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Really? What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. Tribes against us. They followed Jared. Wars between one us. One of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old. And so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. So what about you, then? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. What about Jared? I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. That was an ambush. I can Sounds see like a trap coming. to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Ouch, crap. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, 
but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Man, that must have felt bad for you. So long. Is there anything else I can talk to you about? Hang on. Are your people really Where's dead? Okay, let me Lots make sure. So we leave. I've exhausted I've all got these. Some unfinished oh, here we go. With my okay. Family. But that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Good. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, so that's his loyalty quest, is going to get his family armor. And that is more critical than doing Garrus' loyalty quest, but mm. you want to do both of them anyway. Okay. Tally's the last one, I think. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Oh, you look sound better. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. I'll take the Normandy. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. He's got the whole quarry and fleet in his hands. It He's got... Tough on you. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? place it a high really value on family and ancestry. But she's a princess! An she's a space princess. Elf princess. Example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy? The work you're doing here is more important well, that's than that's a bit ambitious. I don't think anything before. like that's gonna come up. Yes, I know. Nah. But you have to understand Quarian culture. That's not like we're, we're the main character of a society. massive the epic beyond the flotilla drill, don't uh, much game trilogy. The average citizen. <laughs> our greatest dream is that one day I get it. <laughs> we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. So what's the answer? What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Puppies! Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Got it. I should go. See you later. Alright. So that's her mission. We gotta find something for her pilgrimage. We gotta kill that guy Garrus wants us to kill. And we have to get Rex's family armor. And I need to actually Looking get... Looking for supplies? Because I need to bring them with me Let's when I do their missions. Today. 